Hello, my name's Stephen from Kscale Models, and today I'm doing a video on the Laurasia class. So, this particular model in front of you at the moment is a 1 over 1 700 scale version. It's designed to be 3D printed, which is kind of the main aim of this channel. But, I thought I'd do a little bit of background about this thing first. So, this is Zaf's second line warship. So, there's two warships that Zaft have in the show, this and the Nazca class. So this thing is meant to be heavily armed, armoured, but slow. Um, the Nazca class is supposed to be the speedy, fast destroyer that goes out and hunts down Alliance warships. This thing, if it comes across an Alliance warship, it's just going to go straight through it. Um, in the show, the Nazca class was canonically seen one-shotting uh, Nelson. So yeah, Nelsons aren't exactly great. And this thing is seen ploughing through a drake and an Agamemnon. Now, granted, a drake is an escort and an Agamemnon is a carrier. The Agamemnon carries beam weapons. The, Nel oh, the drake was like in close range firing all its guns and is only slightly smaller than this thing. So, yeah, this thing can take a pounding and just keep on going. Granted, in that scene, it was going after the Archangel and didn't quite get in range and got too low in the atmosphere and blew up. And I'll discuss something about that in a minute. But anyway, armament-wise. So, this is where I need to go double-check my sources. So, this and this are two 937mm high-energy particle weapons, basically. So, yeah, beam guns. Up here, this is the 450mm dual railgun. Down here is apparently two more 450mm railguns. Now, these again, dual mounts. And yeah, they're considerably smaller than this one. I would probably say knock the zero off or something. And say like they're 45mm railguns or something. But okay. Then we've got the CRWS, so close in weapon system, 58 millimeters. So yeah, if I remember right, the Archangel's close in weapon system is either a 12.7, like a 50 cal essentially, or a 20 millimeter. I'd have to go double check that, but yeah, this those are big guns, and it has got four up top, two down there. So I have no idea what the two down there can actually shoot at because it's like basically the firing arc of the hangar bay. But I suppose if there's an unauthorized launch of a mobile suit, it's not going to get very far. It's just also going to shoot through the hangar at the same time. Anyway, moving on. We've also got um, two guns up the front. They are classed as 125 millimeter cannons. So here and here. And they don't have much of an arc. They can... They're ball mounted, so they can actually pivot, but that's still not a huge arc. But then again, Gundam Seed warships tend to have rubbish firing arcs. The last thing it has is eight missile tubes. Now, this is called um, vertical launch missile systems in the actual cannon. Those aren't vertical, they're horizontal. So, yeah. Um, one of these things that Gundam likes to do is it likes to call things vertical launch missile systems when they're not. So, yeah, so that's the actual armament of this thing. It does have a bit more utility to it, though. You see this pod at the bottom? This is actually a re-entry capsule. So you can see here where it's modelled. It's got little folded in wings. So if we take those off, we can actually have folded out wings. So, yeah. That's what it would do, and it would glide into the atmosphere and um, land at friendly territory. There's a couple of scenes um, towards the assault on Art Antarctica, I can't remember the operation's name, but you get to see um, these things being deployed to Earth. So, yeah, um, little retro thrusters there, but there doesn't seem to be any sort of thrusters on the rear, I did check. So it's pretty much just drop and glide. Now, this comes back to something I mentioned earlier. Canonically, this thing, like, I can't remember the name of it, the second ship of the, the cruiser team, um, 
it entered the atmosphere and exploded. Why did the captain not drop the pod? If he knew he was doing a suicide run and his crew was going down, it's a case of, okay, at least the hangar crew will survive. Just any wounded, just get in there and we'll drop you whilst we're going to shoot up the Archangel, which they failed to do. So, yeah, that's just a little canonical thing. Now, on that hangar module, you can see here, it's all closed up. Now, if you've seen a previous video, you've seen how I've made all these details. Uh, I basically split all the bodies. It was a bit of a pain doing this before I realized I could do that. But hey, it's all done. And there's no real errors with the model. Going over here, though, I decided to open up the bay. So, yeah, quite a lot of detail in there because we do get some detailed shots of the bay. Now, we also get some detailed shots of these things. So these are the catapults. Now, when you're printing these, if you're going to do, make this yourself, I'll have links in the description to explain more about that in a minute. So, yeah, if you are going to print this, print more than one of these because these things break. I broke something like six of them to make the test model just to show people off and say, hey, it works. So, yeah, print out a good few. And if you break some, it doesn't work. doesn't matter. You've got more. You can always make oh, use those. So, yeah. And the reason they're so easily broken is I'll just show you the sizes of them. That is 0.8 millimeters. This in here... It's 0.4 millimeters in diameter. So that is about the smallest I'd be willing to make something. 0.2 is about the smallest, but that's pretty close. And remember, it's got all this weight on it. So yeah, these things have a habit of breaking. So just be careful. Okay, so in a moment, I'll show you the actual printed version and how it's actually, well, how it all looks. If you want to get this yourself, I will leave links in the description below. It will be on cults and it will be on new type. So new type is recently, well, within the last couple of months, started to put up 3D printed files for Gunpla and my files tend to go up there first. Um, it's not really an official arrangement I've got with them. I just like the fact that they seem to attract more people that are interested in it than I do over at cults. So I do try to put my stuff up there as a sort of thank you to them for being able to get me the sales. So anyway, I'll be back in a second and I'll show you the actual model. Okay, so here is the actual model of the kit. So I'm just going to do a slow spin round. So that's the front. I'll actually zoom out a little. Side on, rear, other side, and I'll give you a sort of angled shot. There. So move that off to the side for the moment. As you can see on this particular one, I've got the actual hanger module with the extended capo. So this is the actual hanger module when I've just got it like in the re-entry mode. So yeah, I'll just do a quick spin around for this. I'll actually hold it so you can see it. So yep. Yeah. So these have turned out quite nicely. Now you'll notice that I've got the hole still there from when I like printed it. Um, you always have to have some sort of drain holes and preferably right at the bottom where you print it because if not you will find that you tend to get like weird lines on the model because it's like pulling vacuum when it's not like, causing issues. So yeah. So that's the actual hire module. Now let's move back over to the ship. So I have basically just put this thing together with tacky wax. Tacky wax is a sort of, well, as the name implies, a tacky sort of wax. So it just basically is holding this together. So all the guns have a very careful move. I'm not going to move these too much because they are 
tacky wax them whilst these ones yeah they're not so yeah they they'll sit happily there and rotate uh, these ones at the front do not rotate and if I lift this up I'm wondering if I can shine a light in one second there you can kind of see all the hanger detail in there so yeah it is quite difficult to see into there so what I would recommend if you are thinking of making this is like a display for the hanger unit cut it in two uh, that would be a simple task to do in something like 3D Builder and that way you could have like a sort of display diorama for the hanger uh, just in operation by itself um, it would have to be off the actual model kit which is why I've not actually done it on this um, so yeah that would be an interesting thing to do might even want to try to combine it with something like this where the hanger module is in there it's in flight mode and yeah it's all hooked up there isn't actually the hanger inside here because it was kind of just going to create issues with a closed hatch here but if you're splitting in two there is ways of um, dealing with that um, if you know anything about 3D Builder and 3D modeling you could do something like that so anyway Hope you found this interesting and I hope you do like the model. Thank you for watching.